interesting theory on the way The Matrix works. You know that movie. Uh, everyone's the bad guy. There's no good guys in that movie, as far as I'm concerned, except the people still plugged into The Matrix. Let me explain. Let me explain. What I mean by that is the people who are pulling people out of The Matrix, right? You know, the, those guys that were like, we're the heroes, a ragtag band of intrepid adventurers trying to save the world from the robot menace. And we're waking people up and showing them the truth, and we're the saviors of mankind, fighting the good fight. Well, you know what? Egotistical. That's what they are. Also, they're pretty evil. Let's go into that. Um, they're pulling people out of the Matrix one at a time, taking them out of a life that to that person is their life. Like, their totality of existence is their white picket fence, nine to five job sort of life. And yoink, now welcome to hell. The world actually sucks, is filled with robots that want to kill you, pollution, fire, and all sorts of crap. Everyone lives in a single city underground that probably smells awful. And yeah, welcome to the real world. I hope you hated your other life. Oh, you didn't? Because it was actually not filled with any of this? You had a pretty normal existence that didn't require you to struggle to not die every day? Well, well, you're now in the real world. You should be happy. We brought you out of the lies, man. We showed you the truth. You know what? Fuck that man's truth. That's what I have to say. Fuck his truth and their crusade. Because they didn't have a plan. They were just freeing people. Oh, they're waiting for the one. Other than that, what, they, what were they doing? They were losing. Did you see the Animatrix? Not only did the humans cause the whole issue, but they were losing the fight. They were just pulling people out in a desperate, half-assed attempt at fulfilling some prophecy spouted by someone who, as far as they may have known, was some mad woman with this ideal of somehow saving everybody with Jesus. It sounds more to me like they were delusional rebels fighting a war that had been lost centuries ago or whatnot, with some guiding star ideology to hold their hopes together in the face of bleak doom. And in that process, they were pulling people out of a normal, and actually, if we honestly want to be looking at this, a kind prison, a gilded cage, where either the people could be in this polluted world where they look like they're going to die if they all leave, because there's no room in Zion for every person in the Matrix. What are they going to do, go on the surface and suffocate? There's no plan here. There's no plan they had. Let's say they beat all of the robots. The world is still a barren husk of a wasteland for centuries, maybe millennia to come. What was their plan? What was their idea? What if they won the war? They didn't have a plan. That's my point. They didn't have an idea or an ideology or anything to guide them beyond that point. All they were doing was making things worse for the people they pulled out. And that one hated character, the one guy, Cypher, he made a very interesting point in the first movie about the steak he was eating and how it felt real and how everything in that world was real until you knew otherwise. It was real. It wasn't like these people were being tortured either. It wasn't like the world they were in was a giant slave labor camp where everybody was doing 24 hours a day of pickaxing. It was a normal life. It was actually a kindness, if you want to look at it honestly, to take them into a world that wasn't ruined by their ancestors' own foolishness. There is a reason that Cypher did not want to remember what would happen to him when he was put in his new life he bargained for. Because as long as you don't remember all of that other stuff about what's outside of the Matrix, it's real. Not only is it real, it's good. You have a nice life with some money and whatnot. Do you want to get pulled out of the Matrix? What are you going to do? You lose everything. To start, you lose everything that you think is real. All of your comforts, your status, ambitions, dreams, they all have been revealed to be meaningless. But they're only meaningless because you were pulled out. That's the kicker. Until you were yanked out of the Matrix, everything you were doing had, was full of meaning, purpose, and then... They take all of that, crush it, and replace it with some wisp of a dream of some guy who might save everything. And what happens in the end? Nothing. Nothing happens in the end. He, he zeroes out the equation and it begins anew. So what did he bring them? What did their crusade bring them in the end? When they had done all of their stuff, had so many people die, what happened? It just went back to the way it was. Who, who's the evil here? The robots, at the very least, weren't torturing people and causing unwanton destruction after the war was over. Now, I'm not saying that the robots were the good guys. I mean, you could argue that in a sense, looking at the Animatrix and the history where the robots were becoming aware and the humans were trying to crush them all out of paranoid fear. However, the robots were keeping people in gilded cages and using them as fuel. And as ridiculous as a premise as that is, that's what was happening, and that kind of negates any claims to goodness they may have had. That being said, 
like I noted, both sides are kind of messed up here. And some people are going to say, but wait a minute, they weren't in the real world. What was happening to them wasn't real. So, of course it was meaningless, and only by being pulled out were they shown what was real. Well, here's the thing. Until they were told what happened and what was real, that was real to them. You merely change their perspective, and you can argue objectively they were in a lie. But you know what? Subjectively, who cares? What is your alternative to the lie? Is it better? Can you fix it? Can you make the world a better place? Can pulling them out of this pleasant lie into a harsh reality be justified? That's the question. Can you justify yanking someone out of the system which basically cares for them, turning them into a shoot-on-sight criminal without their choice, more or less? Because even though he said, you know, do you want to know more? Blue pill or red pill? Here's a choice. He made an uninformed choice. He wasn't actually told what happened. Neo was a prisoner of his curiosity, but he still made an uninformed decision. They didn't tell him the entire deal before he took the pill. They just, hey, here's a murky statement about the truth. What do you want to do? They didn't, he didn't know. I wonder what he would have chosen had they said, this is your life now, and it's pretty cool. Your other option is to go into a hellhole wasteland and fight a meaningless battle that prob almost assuredly can't be won unless you're Jesus. And in fact, Neo was at first mortified and horrified at the fact of what had happened, that he had been removed from his normal life, and that things had been changed and done to him pretty much. He got over it because, well, he didn't have a choice. Let's look at that. So he didn't have a choice. He was already there. He couldn't go to the robots as far as he knew and, hey, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no, as far as he knew, he was in the fight now. So what was he going to do? He had to adapt. He couldn't complain. So putting it very, very simply here, the people who were yanking people out of the Matrix were not heroes, at least in my view. They were misguided rebels fighting against an establishment that, while not good or great, was not evil. It was not inherently evil, and they offered, in fact, a, a worse alternative to what those robots were doing. They just had a fight. Let let's pick a fight. That was their alternative to, we have a system that at least works in this barren wasteland. They had no alternative, no option, no choice, just a prophecy. And I don't think that's a good enough reason to yank people out of their lives, wage a war, and have people die. And also, as a quick side note, who was capping all of those civilians in them? Who was killing every innocent person they saw? It was not the agents, I'll tell you that much. They certainly weren't shooting civilians left, right, and center. Those cops, who their only crime was being in the Matrix. That's it. That was their only crime, being in the Matrix, and you could be possessed by an agent. All right, so everybody in this building is dead. That is their solution. Dead, dead, dead. And as we saw, you die in the Matrix, you die in real life. They killed all of those people for keeps. And then, here's the worst part. They knew it was for keeps because they were pulled out of the Matrix, and they had a full awareness of the situation, and they still killed those ignorant bastards. Who really here is evil? Just something to think about.